Hey guys, this video is about bees and a little bit about ants. We're going to test how well these insects can navigate a maze, whether it's an individual maze or a collective maze. From the outside, the design seems incomprehensible, even complex in places. We built a spatial maze where the bees have to move not only left or right, but also up and down. The bee that enters will most likely go straight and enter the glass cube. There is also the possibility to turn right, go around and find yourself in the cube again, or go up to the top. And already at the top, you can get out of the maze. You can also go up in the cube. The main thing then is to turn left and not go back into the maze. The tunnels of the maze have holes in them to keep you warm. Connect the labyrinth to the hive. Less than five seconds later, the first bees appeared inside. They got trapped in the glass cube as expected. After a bit more time, two bees found their way out. I wonder if they'll fly away, or will they go and tell their sisters where the exit is? Meanwhile, the bees inside are getting bigger. They're going in circles, but only a few are going up. Another trap has formed in the vertical pipe. More bees in the maze and more bees find their way out. Now that they have learned to find their way out, it's a question of their collective cooperation. Will they call out to their sisters? Or will they each have to find their own way out? In other words, will there be more and more bees in the labyrinth? Or will their numbers dwindle? So far, they're just arriving. Half an hour passes and the bees in the cube are dwindling. And after an hour, there are almost no bees left inside, so they've actually learned how to use the maze, which is another indication of their intelligence. Our maze was designed to keep the bees out of the way. Only those leaving the hive could enter. And bees returning with nectar could easily get into the hive. The bees return to the hive mainly through the top hatch, it's time to turn the maze upside down and make the entrance an exit and the exit an entrance and attach it to the upper flight path. That way, we block the bees from entering so they can find the entrance through the maze. Let's see how it turns out. The construction is ready. It's just a matter of docking. The bees are already landing, but it's hard to get in. The entrance is closed. Think about what to do in this situation. I didn't have to think long. Some bees started to use the lower entrance. So let's close the lower entrance as well. Now the bees that want to enter or leave the hive will have to go through the maze. There's no other way. The first bees are already inside. Even if they're the ones who went through the labyrinth, they don't know that it's flipped over now. Let's see how the collective mind works in this situation. 30 minutes later, there are more bees near the hive, but not in the labyrinth. What can we conclude? If the bees are in the labyrinth, they will find a way out. But they do not want to enter the labyrinth of their own free will, even if it's to get into the hive. Let's clear the upper entrance and the lower entrance. Let them continue to work and we'll move on to the next test. To the individual, where the bee must find its own way out. But first, let's make some small changes. We have drilled the holes. This is our beginning. To get out, the bee has to come to this exit. If it misses and goes into the corridor, it will have to go to this exit. Let's start the bee and see what it can do. The bee has already found its way out of the circle, but it's on the opposite side of the exit. And here's a bee that has found the exit, but has passed it. And it's passed it more than once. Looks like the exit has to be bigger than the maze to be noticed. The bee couldn't use either the horizontal or the vertical exit. The bee passed each exit more than once, but it still couldn't get out. 
The most difficult task was not to go through the maze, but to get out of it, which the bee could not do. Well, let's let the insect out of the maze. Now let's do a test run for the ant. Is it really difficult to get out of the maze? The ant first walked along the corridors and then realized that you can cheat and walk through walls. His agility and speed allowed him to get out of the maze in seconds. So the task is not that difficult. Let's try to replace the girl bee with a boy bee. Maybe he'll be more intelligent. Let's not keep you waiting. Did much worse than the worker bee. Although it seemed that the result could not be worse. Now we're interested in the ant. If it's so fast and agile, can it get through the hyper-complex maze? A multi-level maze. In fact, there are six levels at once. Even a person who can see the maze from the side and turn it in different directions will take more than 10 minutes to get through. There is also a trap here. If you go down to the floor below, you will find yourself in a dead end. You'll have to climb back up and find another way down. So let's see if the ant is cool enough to get out of this maze. But first, we have to make an entrance and an exit for him by drilling two holes. The entrance will be up on the sixth floor and the exit will be down on the first floor. Once inside, the ant began to lick himself like a cat. Apparently, he didn't like the fact that his leathery friend was holding him in his hands. And then he started wandering through the tunnels, stopping occasionally to wash himself again. Then the ant accelerated and really started to look for a way out. To get down to the floor below, he had to go this way. For more than 10 minutes, the ant walked on the right floor before he found the way down. And then he stood in the middle wondering what to do, go down or go back up. For a long time, he stood undecided until he realized that this structure resembled an ant hill with a huge number of corridors, and he went. In five minutes, the ant managed to descend from the fifth to the third floor. But on one condition. He hit that dead end I was talking about. There's no way out on the third floor. He has to go up to the fourth floor and find the right way down. But the ant has accomplished this task. Here he is on the second floor. It took the ant a total of 18 minutes to get out of the maze. He spent the first 10 minutes wandering around on the top floor. And each subsequent level went faster and faster. A really clever insect, that's all for now. Bye-bye.